hello and welcome all of you so today we are going to learn about one interesting topic and in this uh, learning session today we are going to understand one important reasoning and logic and that is about why we name the numbers in the different way like why we call one as a one only and not two three four like this why we write the one in certain fashion only what is exactly the reason behind these so these things today we are going to learn in this video so we all of you are studying from the childhood and we are not think about why these things are being written like this means for example if i show you in the uh paint for example when we draw the this particular one number like this why we are calling it as a one why we are not calling this particular number as a 2 3 4 8 9 something like this when we write 2 why we are calling it as a 2 only why we are not calling it as a 1 or why we are not writing 2 as like this for example 3 we write the 3 like this why we are writing the 3 like this why we are not writing why we are not writing the three like this or why we are not writing the three like this what exactly the reason behind this so that we are going to learn today now let's start with the what exactly the actual reason behind this okay so before understanding the logic behind that we need to understand some basic things like here we are you can see i have drawn the different angles okay so these different angles are formed using the different lines as you can see easily the first one is formed using the these two lines accordingly okay so these angles you can call the angles as a corners also so every angles or the corners are formed using the certain lines okay and if you observe the any number so that any number if you observe in a scientific way that numbers are formed using the lines only okay and as i said with the help of the lines we can form the angles or corners and with the help of these angles or corners the numbers are being written okay and depending on how many angles or corners are there in that numbers on the basis of that the definition of that number is written or we name that numbers on the basis of number of angles or corners in that numbers okay so let me take you to the example okay for example why we are calling this particular symbol as a one the main reason behind that as i said numbers are formed with the help of different corners or angles why we are calling this symbol as a one the reason is here you can see there is a formation of one angle so that's why it is called as a one okay think about the two now why we are calling this symbol as a two the reason behind that here you can see there is a formation of two angles right then why we are calling this symbol as a 3 the main reason behind this there is a formation of three angles then next why we are calling this symbol as a 4 the main reason behind that there is a formation of four angles 1 2 3 and 
next why we are calling this particular symbol as phi u. here you can easily see there is a formation of five angles 1 2 3 4 and 5 next thing why we are calling this particular symbol as a 6 the reason is there is a formation of four, six different angles 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 next why we are calling this as a 7 now you can see in this symbol this horizontal line is added so that we can get the formation of 7 angles so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 oh, okay so next number as you can see eight so here you can see one two three four five six seven and eight okay and last one is nine so here you can see easily there will be the formation of nine angles so here you can see one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so as you must have understood the main reason behind that why we are writing these numbers like this and why we are calling this number in particular way like this particular symbol we are calling it as a one because there is a formation of one angle this is a two because there is a formation of two angles this is three because there is a formation of three angles likewise okay so on the basis of uh, lines the corners or angles forms and depending on how many lines how many corners or angles are there in particular symbol we used to name these particular symbols accordingly okay so i hope all of you are understood what is the reason behind that particular certain symbols are being called as a one or certain symbols are being called as a two three like this okay so i hope all of you understood what exactly the reason behind this and if you have understood it if you have like it please share it to your friends also so that they can also understand okay so that's it for today's video thanks all of you for watching